Good evening. There is a national pride burning in the hearts of Canadians from one end of the country to the other tonight, but the flame is out, the games are over, and the Olympic exodus has begun and is underway still tonight at Vancouver International Airport. As many as 40,000 people, more than that, in fact, are expected to depart on this single day, making it the busiest day ever at YVR. But an airport spokesman says there are solid measures in place that are dealing quite nicely with the crowds. Vancouver International Airport is living up to its name. Where are you from? Buffalo, New York. Oh, we're from Korea. Um, I'm from Belgium. I'm from Slovakia. From Scotland. About 58,000 people are expected to pass through the airport, including arrivals. That's almost double the population of Campbell River. Staff have been preparing for years. They brought in airport officials from past host cities, staged a dress rehearsal a couple of weeks ago, are screening team members ahead of time at the Athletes' Village, and even added an auxiliary terminal. The head of Vancouver's Games, operating on about three hours sleep, visited the airport to make sure this send-off was a smooth one. We have a lot to do today, and obviously it's going well here, and this is a major, uh, you know, worry at the end of the Games that we get everybody out on time. While the Olympic exodus is underway in Richmond, across the strait, it's business as usual. BC Ferries saw a definite increase in the number of vehicles on board its vessels over the last two weeks, and on a number of sailings, there were record numbers of foot passengers. But today, on the day after the Olympics, not surprisingly, things are very quiet here on this side of the water. The end of the Vancouver Olympics also marks the end of late night sailings. During the games, BC Ferries added an 1159 sailing, but the company says it was a temporary move. Back at YVR, it's smooth sailing as visitors say goodbye to Vancouver. Ooh, it's, uh, you know, it, it's, uh, it's sad. Uh, I know that this is never going to happen again. Uh, it has been an unbelievable experience to be a part of it. The Olympians may be leaving, but the party isn't over yet. Vancouver's population will swell again over the next 11 days as the Paralympic Games are set to get underway March 12th. In Victoria, Eric Thompson, A News.